In today's In Depth, Metro Development Group has broken ground on something called the Connected City. It's a 21st century approach to infusing high speed technology into the fabric of an entire community. Part of the new project is dedicated to advancing health care and wellness in a yet to be named health focused campus. Bay News Zion's Al Rochelle sat down with the Florida Hospital Director and with the Vice President of Operations at Metro Development Group to learn more. Well, joining me right now, I have two guests, Kartik Goyani, who is the VP of Operations of Metro Development Group, and next to him, Gino Casanova with Florida Hospital. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you for having We're us. We're talking Thanks. about the community of the future. This is really cool stuff, uh, and it's a connected city partnership. So I'm going to, uh, let's start at the very beginning. Where is this project we're talking about, and what's a connected city? So this project is located uh, in Pasco County in the Wesley Chapel area, around 8,000 acres in size. And the reason it's called Connected City is, uh, that's the name the state of Florida gave it. It's a 10-year pilot by the state of Florida, the only of its kind to try really cool things. And it's also been designated as the first smart gigabit community in the United States, being built from the ground up. So super exciting. And the way everybody got onto this to begin with is because we did a story a couple of weeks ago about this giant, gargantuan lake that you guys were going to build for as part of this community. And of course, I had lots of questions with, is it really a lake or is it a giant swimming pool? It's a giant lagoon. That would be the right way. And uh, the Connected City story started way before the Crystal Lagoon around two years back. Okay. Uh, and uh, Crystal Lagoon is one component of that. Ultra 5, which is our technology very similar to Google Fiber, super fast internet. Uh, that's the foundation on which Connected City is built. And obviously our partnership on health and wellness, that's the third pillar. And then bringing all of that together is education and autonomous vehicles and connectivity for everyone. So that essentially creates the entire connected city. Okay, you have a partnership. So, Juno, you know, tell me about how hospitals are integrated into this. Obviously, will you have a hospital there in that community or not? Well, we're still working that out. We, our, our partnership is actually uh, one uh, Florida Hospital and Tampa General Hospital. It's called West Florida Health. We formed that partnership about two years ago to do some uh, inpatient and outpatient healthcare things. And uh, when Metro Development approached us a couple of years ago to see if we could help them use their new technology to change the face of healthcare and how we deliver healthcare to their citizens of the connected city. We thought it was a no-brainer, and we were, as an, uh, as an innovative hospital system, uh, both of us, we were excited to be a part of that. Okay, from, from a developer standpoint, what's the biggest challenge? Getting people to be able to buy it, finding out a price point where you can put that, or just getting something that's this massive, because you're talking about 8,000 acres. I mean, that's no little small development. No, how, it isn't. How many homes are you expecting to be in there? So, uh, we control around 35% of that, around 10,000 homes. 10,000 homes? Yeah, so it's going to be massive built over time, so not over but also exciting because nothing like this exists in the entire country. So we think this is going to bring companies from out of state. This is everybody's going to want to live there, work there, and learn there. And I think it's the right foundation uh, for the city of the future. It's a great opportunity for Tampa Bay to be on the international map. Now we we have other communities that developed. I mean, when you talk about the core communities of Tampa downtown, you talk about Pinellas, pretty much built out. Period. But then you've got these little enclaves that I call them, the things like Lakewood Ranch. Right has expanded. I know there are also some apartment complexes that over in the Lakeland area off of I-4 that are super connected. Maybe not as, maybe not as much as you're going to be, but this is going to be, all be integrated. So when you say connected homes, what does this mean? I'm going to come in and I'm going to have a Roomba that's going to be cleaning my house and, and I'm going to talk to the robot and say, robot, cook me supper. I mean, what? So, so we've taken a very different approach and we're trying to build a new town from the internet up and using UltraFi as the foundation. And we want to do kind of exactly the opposite of that, not use technology to complicate people's lives, but to use them to enhance their lives. I mean, use technology in our partnership so maybe doctor comes to the home through telemedicine, telehealth care, uh, artificial intelligence that's incorporated into the home, as opposed to these robotic tasks that have never happened and are not cost feasible to do. So we've taken a very uniquely different approach and I think that's what's going to set Connected City apart from all of these others. Now the wellness piece, uh, obviously you're going to have a lot of trails and that kind of thing. Uh, costs are, are, the, are the big bugaboo moving forward with healthcare. For 
for people that move into a community like this, are they going to be able to save money on their health care? Is it going to cost them more? Are they going to have more access to it? And what's your demographic that you're shooting for as far as health care? If these are all older people, like the villages, you're going to have a very different outlook on it if it was a bunch of young families. Well, we're, we, we have to work all that out. We're looking at the Democrats now yeah and we we're, we're seeing exactly what type of uh, people are going to move into that and that will kind of determine exactly what we do as a partnership this is a real opportunity for us to do something not just per se a hospital or um, a freestanding ER or uh, an urgent care clinic we could do something uh, in terms of telemedicine we can really like Cardex said bring health care to the patient rather than the patient to health care. The face of health care is changing mm -hmm. and people are much more in charge of their lives in terms of their medical data and everything. So uh, this is an opportunity for us to really build on that and, and, and see how we can uh, futuristically put together their uh, health care components so that it's a part of their everyday life rather than whenever they have a medical event. Now when we had the Jetsons on TV we thought we'd all be flying through the air. That hasn't happened yet. But in terms of your target audience, who are you shooting for? Who needs to buy these homes to make this work? So we're looking at creating an ageless community and we're marketing it with everything over time with what we're doing with Crystal Lagoon and some of the amazing things to have probably micro apartments to Mac Mansion. So there's something in it for everybody. It could be a fresh graduate out of school or an entrepreneur, right, just trying to live in a studio, working on your Mac, creating the next big thing, or a retired CEO. And, and we think this is going to help drive down costs and not increase it, especially on the healthcare side. Because if you can take that and bring it to a person's home and incorporate sensors and maybe wearables that's essentially monitoring your data, and you put it in the cloud that I as the user control it and it's secure and wherever I move the data leaves with me, it's not with the provider, I think that's a true game changer. And, mm -hmm. and that's our goal to do that and then drive costs down. So but, I think it's going to be fantastic. So when we talk about costs, and I'm sorry to be such yeah. a bugaboo about this because I'm trying to figure out how you're going to sell these homes that, that, that are out there right now. So what's going to be the, the fee that you're going to pay to be on Crystal Lagoon, i.e. the homeowners dues? They're going to be thousands of dollars? Will that include your cable and your and your your infrastructure is that all part of the price of the home or what? So so it it varies. Uh, the way we try to price it is competitively that it is at or below market. Just because we're doing a crystal lagoon doesn't mean you have to pay a hundred thousand dollars more to be able to do that. We like to be price conscious, keep it affordable. Uh, this is a community not only for the elite and the rich. Again, it's in our mind. This technology is a great equalizer, mm -hmm. uh, regardless of whether you know you're just making uh, uh, an hourly wage, or again you're a high uh, high paid CEO. You should be able to have access to the same technology, same Crystal Lagoon, same healthcare, same autonomous vehicles. So. Mm -hmm. I don't see that as being an issue. If anything, it's a network effect. The more people we drive here, it lowers costs for everybody. And then the name of it, what's it going to be? So the name, you have to wait for that for March. <laughs> We're announcing. So, <laughs> uh, so Connected City will have a new name, but our first community in that is called Epperson in the South Innovation Zone. And we have the groundbreaking for Crystal Lagoon. You should come check it out on February 2nd. Well, this is going to be amazing. And we, and we have to get you back again once this lagoon gets going, because I'm wondering what the seagulls are going to think about that. But he's, he's already got a solution for that. So, gentlemen, thank you for stopping by. Very, very fascinating stuff with this Connected City. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank, thank you for you. your time. Thanks for having us. Not only will the Connected City focus on health care, it's expected to have two crystal lagoons. Now, these lagoons will be some of the very first in the U.S. The first lagoon expected to be completed later this year.